So you're interested in fishing kayaks and you think you might want a sit-in fishing kayak. One of the best is the Old Town Vapor. This thing has treated my dad very well for the last 10 years and it's a really great beginner fishing kayak. There's a lot of things that I love about it and there's also some things that I really just don't like about it and there's a reason I don't own it but we'll get to those later. So let's start with what I do love about it. First of all, it's not just a recreational kayak that's pretending to be a fishing kayak. It actually has some fishing features. You've got your two rod holders here, and honestly, this anchor system right here has been awesome. The next thing I love about this kayak is how lightweight it is. I can pick this up one-handed, load it, throw it in the back of the truck, throw it on the trailer, whatever I gotta do. This thing is super easy to load and unload by yourself even if you're not very strong i'm not very strong and i can throw it around so if you fish a lot by yourself or you're just worried that sit on top kayaks are just going to be too heavy this is an excellent option the stability isn't terrible not as good as my stand-up kayaks but i've never felt unsafe in it as long as you've got a little bit of balance and you're not trying to stand up and fish another thing to love about it is the price so if you're on a tight budget that's another reason to get a kayak like this or this one specifically. Now I mentioned that it's rigged for fishing and it's also reasonably comfortable. I'm not gonna say that it's super comfortable because it's not, but it does have adjustable foot pegs in it so you can get in a little bit more comfortable position. The seat has padding. Overall for a sit-in kayak, it's not totally uncomfortable. So let's move on to the cons. Like I said, it's not that comfortable. So if you've got back problems, if you just want to be comfortable like I do while you're fishing, then this probably isn't the way to go. And by probably, I mean it's definitely not the way to go. You're gonna wanna spend a little bit more money and get a more comfortable seat, get a more comfortable seating position. The one reason that this is actually so uncomfortable is because it sits so low. So if this seat sat up a little higher, it would be more comfortable. However, then it would be less stable. So. I think they did the right thing here by keeping you low, keeping your center of gravity low, close to the water so it's less tippy, but that also means that it's not gonna be as comfortable. The other con that I think is a big con against any kind of sit-in kayak, but this one specifically, is the lack of storage. You can see there's a tank well here, but it doesn't have any bungee storage, so you're not gonna wanna store anything valuable in it. Maybe something with a dry bag, that way it would float. And then there's no gear tracks. So you're not gonna be able to add a fish finder if you wanted to. You're not gonna be able to add another rod holder, but two rod holders would probably do you pretty good. And there's not a lot of room to store your tackle box. Right here up at your feet would probably be the best spot, but it's still not a lot of room. If you wanna bring even multiple tackle boxes, it's probably gonna be a stretch. As I mentioned, I don't run this kayak for those cons and just because I prefer a sit on top kayak. But there are people that would greatly benefit from this. Number one, I think this would be really good in rivers or creeks, something that you need really quick movements because it's super light, it's easy to paddle. So you can, you know, really maneuver the way you need to in a creek and in the river. Another one is if you don't fish as much as me and you don't want to spend a thousand plus dollars on a kayak alone then go with a sit-in fishing kayak like this one like the old town vapor or i know old town loon is what it might be called now sit-in kayaks are actually often so much more less expensive because they don't have all the features and it ends up benefiting the beginner or somebody who's just not looking to spend a bunch of money on a fishing kayak now you can decide if you really want to purchase the Old Town Vapor Angler 10 or the Angler Loon or any other sit-in fishing kayak. If you're still undecided on whether to go with a sit-on-top or sit-in fishing kayak, then you're gonna wanna check out this video right below me and I'll see you there.